Hey, I'm Nimrov and I'm going to present the history of accounting. But what is accounting? It is the language of business and is used in describing all types of business activities. It is also the process of recording financial transactions. Bookkeeping, on the other hand, deals with the procedure of keeping records, while accounting is conceptual. Going back to the 14th and 15th century, the ingenious Italians of the Renaissance period said, Hey, I want to make a fortune, but I need better ways to determine the profit. And so, they pursued trade and developed a system in Genoa, therefore getting called the Genoa system, wherein they assumed the concept of business entity. They started a company in Florence and took advantage of Venice because there are a lot of ports. Fast forward a few years, a man named Luca Pascioli decided, Hey, I want to be the first to describe, systematize, and publish my knowledge about accounting. And so, the book Summa de Arithmetica was released in 1494, and he is now regarded as the father of modern accounting. With this in mind, accounting records classifies, summarizes, and interprets the data given to them. Throughout the years, many have practiced this art and is often regarded as part of everyday life. Fast forward to the current years, GAAP, or Generally Accepted accounting principles is an international convention of good accounting practices, and any accountant who deviates from the principles they have given will be held liable. An owner of a company decides to buy two computers, one for work and one for himself. If records any data, the only recorded data would be the one for work because this falls in the category of business balance sheet, which states that it must only record or reflect the financial position of the business alone. When paying for a certain product or service, we use money. This falls under the monetary concept, which says that this can only be measured through monetary exchange. Revenue recognition principle is when a person receives a delivery and informs the seller that the product has been received. Matching principle refers to spending money for the betterment of the company. No revenue can be earned without expenses being incurred. Objectivity principle is when an accountant records all the money spent. He or she must look at the documents such as invoices, vouchers, or official receipts to make sure everything is legit. Cost principle is recording all expenses based on the actual price paid. And lastly, conservatism principle principle refers to making sure that if a product is selling low, change the price and find an alternative that can make a profit. With this in mind, there are two types of users of accounting information, the internal and the external. Internal users are those who are responsible for the company itself. These are the owners, the management team, and the business itself. External users are the people outside the business. These are the investors, customers, employees, creditors, the government, the public, and the suppliers. Taking it back, people from Mesopotamia has used this as a way of taxation and trading. The Romans used this for granting land to people, building buildings, granting money to the army, etc. And now look how far we've come. Going from the people from ancient times, trying to figure out the cost of things, to the current time when people are trying to find an accountant to make better decisions or just to avoid tax. Anyways, that's it. Bye-bye.